In this video, I'm going to experiment RESTCONF YANG API for Cisco iOS XE router with Python 3 on Ubuntu Linux. Three good examples will be shown. Receive all information about an interface like show interface CLI command. The second good example is to filter a specific information about an interface like the interface description. Third good example is to receive all the configuration file of the router, like you are using show run CLI command. Let's get started. Prior building any Python scripts on Ubuntu Linux terminal, we must install restconf with shell command pip install requests pip install requests on the terminal here we have requirement already installed we already installed requests before restconf must be installed and enabled on cisco ios xe router we just use restconf command on the configuration mode and IP HTTP secure server to enable HTTPS on the Cisco iOS XE router. By checking the configuration file of the Cisco iOS XE router, I can find that restconf is already configured and IP HTTP secure server is already configured as well. The first good example is to initiate REST conf session with the Cisco iOS XE router and receive all the information of interface Giga Ethernet 1 using Yang API. In this good example, we have variable response, which is requests.get. It means that HTTP request with the method get from the URL of the Cisco iOS XE router. The URL is specified above with the Yang API interface, which is HTTPS protocol and the variable H, which refers to the host which will be the IP address of the Cisco iOS XE router on this lab. 192.168.129.156 And P refers to the port, which is the port of the HTTPS. Then the Yang API interface using restconf data slash Cisco iOS XE interfaces hyphen Upper colon interfaces forward slash interface equals giga ethernet interface one. So this is the URL which will be requested from the Cisco iOS XE router. The authentication that will be used is the user credentials, user Hamdi and password Cisco. On Cisco iOS XE router, we must have the username used on the script, which is Hamdi with privilege 15 and password Cisco. We also specify the headers for the HTTP request, which will be content type application slash yang hyphen data plus JSON and accept application slash yang hyphen data plus JSON as well. That means we are going to request and receive yang data model with a data format JSON. Finally, we will print the response which will be received from the Cisco iOS XE router dot text. Let's check the interface of Giga Ethernet 1. 
This is the IP address of the interface 192.168.129.156 from which we can get the Cisco iOS XE router in the lab. Giga Ethernet interface one here is connected to the management cloud which is connected to the Linux desktop terminal. Show interface Giga Ethernet one. This is the information of interface Giga Ethernet one, which are expected to be received using the Python code with restconf HTTP yank. Let's run now the code using Python restconf test. This is what we have received from Cisco iOS XE router. We have received the Yang API response for interface Giga Ethernet 1 and all the information of the interfaces that can be shown with the command CLI show interface Giga Ethernet 1. We can see that the in unicast packets, in broadcast packets, and in multicast packets. And we can also see the interface admin status and operational status and all the interfaces statistics. Second good example is to filter the description. We need to filter the description of the interface, which is DevNetLab. Let's check the code and we can see the same as we did in the last code. Response equal requests.get URL. We passed the URL, headers, authentication, and the authentication is the username of the router. We have here router in dictionary, router variable in dictionary, IP and port, user and password. And we are going to use variable API underscore data, which equals to response.json. We are going to receive all the HTTP response and store it into API underscore data variable. Then we print 100 stores as separation before we print the output. The output we need is to filter only the description from the Cisco iOS XE upper interface. Cisco iOS XE interfaces upper interface container. And we are going to filter only the description which is here then we print 100 stores and we are going to print the interface status admin status as well if api data from the cisco ios xe interfaces upper interfaces and admin status was if state up we print string interface is up then the separation of 100 stores if the interface admin status was down if state down we print interface is down so this is for the else statement let's examine now the python code now we have received the description only of the interface which is devnet lab show run interface giga ethernet one we have received only description devnet lab and interface is up because the interface state is up for the admin status so this condition is fulfilled and we printed interface is up. Third good example in this video is to receive the full configuration file of the Cisco iOS XE router using Yang API model. We defined all the variables needed to initiate the HTTP request like the host, which is 192.168.129.156, the port number 443, and the username is Hamdi password is Cisco and the URL used is https colon double forward slashes 
and the host port number then forward slash rest conf forward slash data forward slash native dot format and we post here the host and the port number then we defined the headers used for the http requests which are content type and accept application slash yang data plus json so we can send and receive uh, the yang data api as json format and we defined the response which is requests.get and we passed the url authentication user and password and headers then verify code false we have asked here not to verify the self-signed certificate finally we print the response in text format let's test now this code native yang this is the full configuration file received from the Cisco IOS XE router with JSON data formats. This is the name of the Yang API, Cisco IOS XE native, and we can find here the container host name. This is the host name of the router, and the enabled secrets username, the IP services on the routers, like the SSH version 2. We have some configuration like the access list. HTTP, HTTP secure server, and the interface Giga Ethernet 1 configured with this IP address and subnet mask and description. And this is a second interface of the router. You can find also the loopback and some configuration like the OSPF configuration, line console configuration, and line VT1. This is a full configuration file of the router. Thank you for viewing this video, I hope it can add a good value to you.